Hey, crossword fans! Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, May 29th, 2023. All right, let's get started. One across, org that operates the James Webb Telescope. And because we have this abbreviated org in the clue, our answer needs to be abbreviated as well. I think this is going to be NASA. Let's see if we can build off of this. No votes. I guess that could just be nays. Those are votes for the no side. And it has to be nays plural because the clue asked for votes plural. Some sound equipment on stage. I think these are going to be amps. Comedic send-ups. Hmm. Is it satire? I don't know. I guess it could be. Let's see what these acrosses are. Sleeps out under the stars. That's got to be camps, right? So maybe instead of satire, this could be spoofs. That makes more sense. Add blank, Latin for to the stars. That is ad astra. There was a movie called ad astra a couple of years ago. Arrange by category. That's got to be a sort. This could be cha-ching. Okay, let's see what our first long across is. This might be our first theme answer. Longest side of a right triangle. That's called the hypotenuse, right? If I'm remembering my geometry. UFO pilots. Again, we have an abbreviation in the clue, so our answer is going to be the abbreviated extraterrestrials. Put on. I guess that could be Don, like you don a hat. Down under bird. This needs to be a bird that's in Australia. That could be an emu. Wash tubs. I really want this to be basins. One might be statistically significant. Hmm. This sounds like it's talking about something in a scientific study. Would it be an effect? I don't know. Let's look at these acrosses again. Money owed. That would be a debt. Sharif, who played Dr. Shivago. That was Omar Sharif. So maybe this is a trend. That would make sense. Write blank. Protest votes typically. That could be write-ins. Let's see what our next potential theme answer here is. Reckless way to play things. It's reckless to play fast and loose. That's kind of interesting. I feel like fast and loose and hypotenuse kind of rhyme. I wonder if our theme is going to be different ways to spell this ending sound. Hypotenuse, fast and loose. Very interesting. We're going to have a grid spanner here. I think this is going to be our next theme answer. Surreptitious gesture with the head. Sounds like that might be a sly nod. Nice. Veer as a ship. That could be yaw. There's pitch, roll, and yaw when you're steering an airplane. Yaw is kind of the left to right motion. Okay. Voluminous hairstyles. Hmm. I wonder what that's going to be. Worrisome note to get from a boss. You don't want to get see me, that's for sure. Blank poor Yorick. Shakespeare. That is, alas, poor Yorick. That's from Hamlet. Not in danger. That's got to be safe. Funerary fire. That could be a big funeral pyre. So we have an asp. Cairo cobra. That's right. That's a kind of snake. Completely destroy. Shouldn't that be lay to waste? That's a pretty cool entry. Voluminous hairstyles. Okay, this has to be afros. And this is Tom, Jerry's cartoon counterpart. Yeah, that's definitely right. Gone with the Wind Estate. The name of the plantation in Gone with the Wind was Terra. Aided and abetted, helped illegally. Nice. Okay. Fling. Hmm. 
I don't think this is about a romantic fling. I think this is actually about throwing something. This could be toss. Good skill for a diplomat. I think tact would definitely come in handy if you're a diplomat. Quattro plus quattro. So that's four plus four in Spanish. So that would be eight or ocho. Got out of the way. Hmm. I wonder if it sidestepped. I think that's a little too long. Play component. That would be an act, like in Hamlet. Okay. Dessert made with cocoa and egg whites. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's going to start with chocolate. And we're thinking it should rhyme with loose, right? So maybe this is chocolate mousse? Excellent. And again, the sound is spelled in a different way. It's O-U-S-S-E. Very interesting. Goldilocks complaint about the first bowl of porridge. I think that would be too hot. So what is this? Got out of the way. I wonder if that's stood aside. Yeah, that fits really nicely. Converse. Or maybe converse. That's very tricky. This could be a noun or a verb. I think in this case it means to talk or to chat. Nice. Public prosecutors in brief. Those could be district attorneys. Unadorned. Is that bear? Let's see if that's right. Control Alt Delete. That's right. And gives a leg up. That should be boosts. Yeah. Island home to Honolulu. That has to be Oahu. Bisected evenly. I guess if you do that, you cut something in half. If you ask me, and these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase, this reminds me of kind of text speak. So I think a good equivalent here would be IMO, in my opinion. Opus blank. That could be Opus Dei, that's a religious group. Walked on. And when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means the same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So I think this is going to have to be trod on in the past tense. Very tricky. One of the Great Lakes. That's got to be eerie. Let's see what our next loose moose rhyme is here. Quaint cry of surprise. Hmm. It seems like it has to start with what? What the deuce? <laughs> that is very quaint. That's really funny. This is my favorite entry of the puzzle by far. That is really funny. What the deuce? Okay, it looks like we're going to have one more rhyme down here. Off in mob speak. Okay, this has got to be talking about killing someone in mob slang. So I think this is going to be whack. Peaceful refuge. That could be a haven. So we have has, owns. That's right. Very eager. If you're very eager, you're avid. Give up as territory. That should be seed. Was certain of. I knew it. So this is do, drops on a lawn. Yeah, that's right. Bro or sis. And this clue is kind of using informal language. So our answer should use informal language too. I think this is going to be a sib or a sibling. Head covering whose name means curtain in Arabic. That's got to be a hijab, right? Okay. Argue back and forth. That sounds like a debate to me. Let's finish this section here. Aspiring JD's exam. So we have an abbreviation here. A JD is a lawyer. So I think this is going to be the law school admission test. Big bash. That could be a fate. Let's see. Bit of body ink for short. Yeah, that's going to be a tattoo. A tat. Blank noir. Bane. That would be a bet noir. 
that is literally a black beast in French, something you really hate. Okay. Perplex. Is this going to be bemuse? That's kind of a $5 word. Cuisine style of Louisiana. That's got to be Cajun, right? There we go. Actress Thurman of Pulp Fiction. That's Uma Thurman. Bat, rat, or cat, but not a gnat. This is kind of a funny clue to have in a rhyming themed puzzle. That's definitely going to be a mammal. Gnats are not mammals. Okay, let's see what our last rhyme is here. Smoothie chain founded in 1990. I think this has got to be Jamba Juice. Nice, yeah. So our ending sound, oos, is spelled five different ways in these theme answers. Juice, deuce, moose, loose, and noose. That is pretty cool. Alright, let's finish this bottom section here. Cable channel that was launched with the words, Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. That has to be MTV. San Francisco, Oakland separator. Well, that would be the bay. Okay, so this is Ada, lead into boy or girl. Ada boy, Ada girl, that's right. And this is a bevy, large group of people or birds. Yeah, that's right. Personal appearance. Ooh, this is another $5 word. I think this is going to be a mean. Yeah, that's kind of your personal bearing. Okay. Land unit. That should be an acre. So we have Nene, bird seen on the drive to Haleakala National Park. That's right. That's a Nene. That's the Hawaiian goose. I bet you could see a Nene on Oahu. That's funny. This is a goose. That also rhymes with juice, deuce, and moose. That's kind of a secret theme answer. Okay. App customers. That's got to be users. So this is Les Miserables. That sounds right. All right. Let's throw this S in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right. A Monday puzzle in 17 minutes. So our theme today is words that rhyme with goose. And the oos sound at the end is spelled in a different way in each theme answer. Hypotenuse, fast and loose, chocolate mousse, what the deuce, which is by far my favorite theme answer, and jamba juice. And we also have our secret revealer down here, the nene, the Hawaiian goose. This puzzle actually felt kind of on the difficult side for a Monday. We had some kind of challenging vocabulary like bemuse, and mean, and there was also some fairly difficult, ambiguous cluing. We had clues like fling for toss, and also converse for chat. Yeah, both of those could have been about very different things. Those were pretty tricky clues to see on a Monday puzzle. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed playing fast and loose on that Monday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.